Hey YouTube, Motor Missile over here. Thanks for joining me guys. Um, I just wanted to share real quick a uh, small little video of um, Gavco's uh, Widgetashi tool, which is a uh, pry tool. And um, here it is. I'm not sure what kind of steel it's made out of. Um, but you can see some grind lines there. It's got a very good edge on it. Very thin ground as uh, Gavco typically does. Um, the grinds on Gavco knives are excellent. I've seen a few in person. Uh, this is another one. Uh, this is the only other Gavco product I own. You know, I used to think of uh, Gavco as a uh, novice knife maker, uh, but he has definitely come a long ways. Um, you could say this might be some of his earlier work here. Uh, it's a 154CM knife, which I have a video on this knife. It's really cool, but I just want to include that since I'm doing a review of this wig wigadashi I guess he likes to call it um, it's just a pry tool to me um, but it's super crazy sharp uh, it's small enough to carry uh, on your neck with this little kydex sheath uh, which is excellent the retention on this is great um, if you do want to use the prying end of this tool though I you know it's kinda you have to have the sheath uh, you could you could pry something without it, but it's just a little risky. And this, uh, this Wigadashi is very sharp. I'll, I'll demonstrate it for so long. Let's watch it cut these hairs right off. And you can see those hairs popping right off. That's a uh, testament of how sharp it is. And, and I strop it on some green compound and hit it with the straightening steel from time to time. But um, this is just a great everyday use thing. I I use this to clean my nails, to pry things constantly. This comes in handy uh, when you don't want to pull out your spider co or one of your nicer knives. You know, you don't want to... You could pry with knives, but I don't recommend it. Um, I love my knives. I would never try to pry with them, although some of them are really well suited. Um, this is just a piece of magazine from Tandy Leathers. I go to Tandy Leathers to buy a uh, raw material like this cowhide you see back here um, which I use the Gafco knife pretty often to cut like this uh, little Zelda cufflink I made uh, I pretty much use this knife to cut my leather with all the time because it retains an edge the ground um, the, the grind that Gavco makes is so thin and sharp and uh, he just makes really good product. Uh, you know, if you've never heard of him, I highly recommend you check him out. Sorry, my cats are going psycho. Um, I don't think he's still making these. Uh, sometimes he finds them a, a few at a time in his shop or somewhere. Uh, but he may start making them again. And I went to the uh, Atlanta Blade Show, uh, and I met Gavco in person, and I met Jason Browse, and I met... Uh, Kayla Cummings, who are all really awesome knife makers. Um, I wish John from Three River Blades would have been there. Uh, I understand he couldn't have been there this year, but maybe he'll try to make it for next. But if you guys ever have the opportunity to head to Atlanta and check out the Atlanta Blade Show, I highly recommend it. Uh, I met a lot of new knife makers. I had no idea they existed, and they had cool products. But anyway, uh, Gafco was there. Tough Thumbs was there. A lot of their friends. And they were all super nice. Um, they had a bunch of cool knives they took with them, um, and they were really reasonably priced. I just couldn't afford any at that time, but I, I'm definitely planning on owning some more, uh, Gavco knives. I'd say this one little knife, uh, is probably one of the best working knives I have. And, um, so yeah, uh, there's a website called Gear Bastion. Uh, and you can uh, find Gavco products. Uh, but anyway, so this is it, the Wigadashi, and uh, you can see here it's got a little prying point, which you will need the case on, the sheath on, to uh, use most effectively. You certainly could use this without the case, but I wouldn't recommend it. It would be a little bit dangerous. And as I showed you, this is uh, a crazy sharp let me see if I can get a better piece of paper here. It's a very sharp tool, and I just barely touched it up at all. Let's see. I gotta be careful not to cut myself, but you could you could literally shave with this, and I I will 
I'm looking through the camera and shaving. That's a testament of how how good of an edge this is. And I barely touched it up at all on the green compound. So, but this is it, the Gafco Wigadashi. So you can check out a few other U uh, videos on YouTube of these. But um, if you ever have the chance to snag one of these up, I highly recommend it. This. Uh, this is a great everyday carry tool. Uh, it really does come in handy. Like I said, when you don't want to use a knife, you know, a knife you really love, you don't want to use it for prying or maybe something you wouldn't want to use it on, this comes in super handy. So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for checking out my channel and videos, and uh, definitely check out Gavco. So thanks, guys. Talk to you later.